Hey folks, you're looking at the bedside computer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to swap all the parts out again like I have for years and years and years. I just added an SSD. Right down there. I bet you can barely see it because for some reason when I render the video it makes it a lot darker. Uh, but I put a 40 gig Intel SSD in the third hard drive bay. Two one terabytes down below that. And uh, what I plan to do is reinstall the OS. On this SD card here, I have uh, Debian 8. I've decided to switch from Ubuntu Mate 1404 to Debian 8 because I just upgraded Debian 7 to 8 on one of my servers and the upgrade process was so easy that I wanted to have that ease of upgrade on all of my Linux systems. So I've decided wherever possible I'm going to use Debian uh, instead of Ubuntu just because the upgrade path is so much nicer than it is on Ubuntu. So well, the other thing I changed in this system is it has an NVIDIA GT640 in it now. So graphics have been beefed up a little bit. And and I'm going to install Debian on the system using this. I'm going to use I'm using the net install that has the firmware built in, and uh, that way I can use the wireless to install it, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you my Debian desktop once it's installed. I haven't changed anything up here. It's still that Cherry ML keyboard and the trackball and the monitor that Silicon Seal 93 gave to me that had issues with his computer for some dumb reason. I don't know. It's probably just a picky monitor, but it seems to work okay here. Have decent sound. So there you have it. I'm going to put Debian on here with uh, the Mate desktop. Uh, probably use Ice Weasel or Chrome for a web browser and get uh, Firestorm installed in there for Second Life and everything. And I also have to show you the boot speed and everything once I get it on the SSD. Yeah. All right, folks, Debian is installed and the bedside computer is back in action. I hit a few hitches with Debian. Uh, but as you can see, I've got a full desktop, and it works just fine, so I like that. Look at me being boring with my, uh, <laughs> with, uh, looking, at looking at a syllabus on my bedside computer. Yeah, great. Anyway, uh, I had a few, uh, hitches with, uh, this particular thing, with this particular install. Uh, of course, I had to change the MIME type. Uh, for dot swift files to work in Linux, I made a video about that, but you know, I have instructions here that I did. I basically just had to go into the MIME type file, the freedesktop.org.xml, and replace vnd.adobe.flash.movie in one of the lines with x dash shockwave dash flash, and then dot uh, swf files will open in a browser on every browser. In Firefox, you can actually just stick a file in your home folder to make that work. But on this particular one, for it to work in all the browsers, I had to uh, change the MIME type. Uh, but I only look at .swf files in IceWeasel, which is the Debian version of Firefox anyway. So, there you have it. Um, what was the other hurdle I had? Getting Wine working was a little bit weird, because when you install Wine on Debian... It doesn't show up in the menu in the Mate menu anywhere, so you have to use commands to make it work. But I managed to get that to work because uh, the way I op I just needed it for like a few exes here and there of little games and stuff, and that was really it. Uh, I didn't need it for much, so it was all right. Skype wouldn't work uh, because of the Nvidia drivers actually, uh, so. That was a big hurdle. I actually tried a couple different methods. There was one that was very complicated where I went to, where I edited Skype.desktop, the file that actually launches Skype, and uh, uh, I changed the execution line to point to a, a lib.so file. But the easy fix for that was not this one. This is what I what I actually did. I changed the execution line in that particular file to a nice long one here. So there's an easier fix than that. Uh, see if I can find it. Yeah, the fix is to install libgl1-nvidia-glx uh, colon i386. So I'd install the 32-bit version of that because Skype is still 32-bit on uh, Linux and that worked. Once I got past all those hoops, everything seems to work fine. So I, I haven't had any problems other than that. 
Uh, I'm using Chrome as my up-to-date web browser, so I'll use that for my normal browsing of the web on here and watching YouTube videos and stuff. And I'm using IceWeasel to play the .swf files and stuff like that, so it really doesn't matter how old that gets. Uh, I'm also using it for some of the add-ons since it's basically Firefox. In fact, I'll show it to you. Let me open up IceWeasel. IceWeasel is just Firefox. <laughs> it's just Debian's version of Firefox. I think I think it's a little bit more on the free software side of things than real Firefox is. I'm not quite sure what the details are, but for all intents and purposes, it's Firefox. As you can see there. It's it's a version that's included with Debian, but it's basically Firefox. It's going to age pretty quickly because this is the Debian stable repo, so... <laughs> It'll get old in the next two years, but Debian's working. Everything has gone to plan, so very good stuff. Uh, so, not the most exciting thing in the world, but I think having an SSD has made a world of difference for this computer. Uh, it's been really, really nice, actually. So, I'll have to show you, uh, I'll show you the boot time, actually, with the SSD. Give me a minute here. Okay, so let's turn the machine on. There's the GT640 V BIOS. It'll beep at you. Let's hit that button to start Debian. Login screen. Bam! That used to take a while when I was on the hard drive, so let me. Enter my information. Desktop. Done. So that 40 gig SSD made quite a huge difference. I really like that. This is sweet, man. I am into this. So. There you have it. That is the bedside computer. Uh, it is very, very fast. It's now on a Debian platform, which makes me very happy, so upgrades will be extremely easy. Before I end this video, I would like to uh, at least clarify a few things on how I uh, have this bedside computer set up. Uh, I forgot to tell you the disk configuration, because I did change it. I showed you guys the SSD, but I've also changed the way it fundamentally works. Uh, since I have Debian on this system now... Uh, since I have Debian on this system now... I have decided to use RAID with it. Uh, RAID 1 between the two Western Digital Caviar Black 1 terabyte drives I have in there. So, file system level RAID 1 between the two disks. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that on Ubuntu right now because they double label the, the disks, which is a little bit weird. I don't like how they do that. I don't like how they're messing with it. But, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I, I figured that'd be useful since there is stuff on this machine I don't want to lose. So that'd be that just adds a little bit of data security. I like having data security in my life. It makes me happy. So that's pretty cool stuff. So that's just something I thought I'd tack on to the end of this video. I'm using ButterFS on slash home. Okay, here here's how I have uh the partition set up. I have root partition as uh, on the on the SSD. I also have swap on the SSD. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to do that, but when am I going to use swap when I have 8 gigs of RAM in here? It's just there for uh, posterity, really. Um, and the slash home is on both, uh, is on a RAID 1 across both of the drives using file system level RAID with ButterFS. So, that is pretty cool stuff. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's that's just I just to tack that onto the end of this video just to tell you how the whole thing's set up because I thought that was kind of important as a change. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.